Most of the startup founders and entrepreneurs fail. Their creation, be it product or service, are the best and they are unique in their specific market segment. However, 90% of them do not see the light of future. The reasons could be anywhere between, ranging anywhere between, you know, mismatch of product and market segment, to insufficient capital or investment capability. In the year 2016-17, it is estimated that over 1 million startups had registered globally, of which only 5% could survived with their operations at the end of 2019, which means 95% of them did not have their operations up and running by end of the first quarter of 2019. Why do you think this happens? What are the things, you know, which are essential for a startup entrepreneur to be aware of? And what are those reasons for such failure? Let's have a look at that in today's session. In this episode, I would be talking about how to build a successful startup and what approach needs to be adopted by a prospective entrepreneur who is looking to set up his startup. Before that, let's look into the reasons why startups do not taste the initial success. They are mismanage of product and market, insufficient funds, lack of harmony within the team, unrealistic pricing strategy, excessive worry about the competition, mismatch with the customer needs, lack of business model, dilution of passion, misjudgment on time to market, lack of knowledge on legal and regulatory requirements. Now these reasons have been mentioned precisely by Silicon Kennel uh, in, an, in an article where they have identified these major uh, reasons after thorough research of speaking to over 500 entrepreneurs who have failed in their initial startup. The approach for success is explained in four C's, which are clarity, capability, compliance, and cost. Keeping perseverance and discipline as the core principle. If a, an entrepreneur is able to maintain a sync between these four C's, having disciplined approach and most perseverance, the probability of a success rate is going to multiple. Now let's see what are these four C's, starting with the first one, which is clarity. Clarity means having clarity of vision, clarity about who is a potential buyer, where is a market, when to market, it's a typical timing to market, why the customers need to buy or consider our product or service. So what is the differentiator that our product or service it has, which the customers they do not have in the market how to market and clarity on individual roles, responsibilities, account accountabilities. Now this third point is very very crucial to ensure there is a proper sync and harmony among all the members and co-founders of a particular organization. They need to think about one common purpose and they should live and breathe the defined principles and define a strategy to reach their common goal. The next C is capability. Capability is to identify the required knowledge, skills and experience for building, maintaining the product and service. That's 
operations, marketing, business development, finance, people, required regulatory, you know, com compliances. All these knowledge have to be acquired and researched, learned by all the co-founders and the owners. Next, being aware of one's own strengths and weakness, the team need to work and come out with a SWOT analysis, identify their strengths and the weaknesses of not just about the owners and their team members, but across all the employees within their working within their company. Third being building network of potential buyers who could be your prospective market, complementing and setting and supplementing companies, firms, professionals who could help you out in supporting and supplementing the skills and knowledge that you would want in scaling your operations and your business. Now, one of the very crucial examples or points that needs to be considered is most often we notice that entrepreneurs, they try to actually learn and read about a lot of success stories. I would suggest along with success stories, every entrepreneur or a person who is looking to, you know, build a startup need to read the, the failure stories because it's we get a lot of material and stuff on things that can be done or that should be done appropriately but we need to learn all about and understand what are those things that should not be done and that is something which is very crucial and every owner who is looking to build a startup need to build his capability and competency understanding the 360 degree perspective of his market its diaspora as well as the required knowledge skill and competencies required to set up third c is compliance study and research on all related regulations prevailing laws within the target market which means we need to understand the applicable and relevant laws, regulations that are prevailing in the respective geography, about the product, with respect to the labor, tax, contracts, agreements, copyrights, patents, etc. Seek the help of right partner to get the required and timely advice to ensure that all the required compliance and regulatory requirements are 100% adhered to. This can prove to be a one point of failure. Normally what happens, we get to hear a lot of stuff as well as we get to listen that right leadership is about initiative and taking risks and not being bothered about regu regulations. I probably do not connect with that. The reason is we might do anything and everything appropriate and accurate as per the business plan. But in case if we do not comply and adhere to the required compliance or if we miss adherence to any of the regulatory requirements, that could prove to be a one point of failure and it could actually result in the downfall of the respective organization. There are humpty of examples on this. I would suggest everyone who are listening to this video as well as this session to browse through complaints related uh, you know, reasons why an organization failed or the downturn of an organization because of non-adherence to required regulatory compliances and law. Please google it and you will find a lot of information and examples about it. The last and the fourth C is cost. The entrepreneur must be very cautious with respect to his spending. The startup owner must take utmost care in managing their operations cost because that's a recurring cost which is going to be spent on a month on month basis. We need to be extremely principled in our spending nature and ensure to have funds equivalent to minimum 18 months of positive working capital at the time of incubation of a startup and maintain at minimum 12 months consistently. Now these averages could vary between different industries and the scale of startup. In conclusion, 
what I would like to mention is anyone who is looking to set up a startup should be having a clear understanding about the reasons why normally startups fail and also adopt the four C's approach with full conviction, confidence, utmost discipline and perseverance and I'm sure they're going to be successful in their venture. There is a reference book which I would want to mention here. The name of the book is Awakening the Entrepreneur Within. How Ordinary People Can Create Extraordinary Companies. In this book, the author Michael E. Gerber has actually detailed a lot of uh, points as well as examples which can be of great help understanding the dynamics and the thought process what needs to be adopted and what needs to be considered for an individual while setting up uh, his own business and then scale it to the next level. For more queries, please do reach me at venkateshans at venkateshans.com. You can also connect and subscribe on my LinkedIn, Facebook and YouTube channel. The links are mentioned in this particular slide. Thank you.